And David Jolly, based on all available evidence, America First represents the mainstream of the Republican Party right now, which is why we're even talking about sure. it. You left the GOP. Uh, last night, Senator Lindsey Graham, he said on Fox he doesn't see a future for the GOP without Trump in it. Take a listen to this. Can we move forward uh, without President Trump? The answer is no. I've always liked Liz Cheney, but she's made a determination that the Republican Party can't can't grow with President Trump. I've determined we can't grow without him. So what's your read? I mean, is there anything in the Republican Party right now beyond Trumpism? No, my read is Lindsey Graham sees a valueless GOP. Because if it comes to the convictions around elevating and celebrating the man who is Donald Trump instead of an ideology in which Liz Cheney came up with in today's Republican Party, then sure, the Republican Party can be electorally strong given its affiliation with Donald Trump. But it is not a party of conviction, a party of ideology. And I think we will see the House Republican Conference reflect that when they move to remove Liz Cheney. This is really an inflection point, Jeff, as to what a post-Trump presidency GOP will look like. We now know that they, the GOP and elected leaders in Washington will continue to run towards Donald Trump, and they intend to make the midterms a verdict on their affiliation with the past president. So, so but the, I guess the question is why? Is the Republican Party bereft of ideas? Are they bereft of leadership? When has a political party in modern political history ever clung so tightly to a losing candidate, a one-term president who lost his party effectively, the White House, House and Senate. Democrats didn't do that after Jimmy Carter. Republicans didn't do it after H.W. Bush. What's going on in the Republican Party right now? Uh, my personal opinion, it's a party bereft of dignity, not just ideas, not just policies, not just ideology, but they have been willing to affiliate with a man who tried to kneecap our very republic, who undermined the institutions of the judiciary, of the press, of our security alliances with the West. He undermined our very own intelligence authority. He undermined the dignity of who we were as a people, who we are as a people. But a party, a political association, saw the opportunity to use as a currency this grievance, angry, false populism offered by Donald Trump. They saw electoral reward into it, in it, and so they ran towards him, and they left behind the little bit of ideology they had left within the party. It is a reflection of a party with no dignity today, no values today, much less no ideas. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.